All right, everybody. I'm here with Jim Dirk, class of 1979, a 2023 Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame inductee. So we are going to get into the things that uh, led to his induction. But uh, I've known Jim and his family for a long time, so we're going to talk about Bay Village a little bit. There were eight Dirk kids. So what was it like growing up as one of eight? Because there were several families in Bay that had that many kids at the time and and Bay was a little bit different back when you were growing up with a lot of kids in our schools mm -hmm. what was it like oh I, I personally we're all very tight so and growing up it was fun because I was the fifth kid born by then my parents had given up most of the hope of <laughs> having any control over us you know Linda of course the was uh, the oldest and she was born you know and then had a uh, you know, like seven years before the next one was born. So she was literally, you know, like... A second mother almost. Yeah, well, yeah. she was, you know, and consequently she has no children. <laughs> <laughs> so she she probably had enough of that by the time she went off. She ran off to Ohio University and, you know, not Ohio, Ohio State. She yes. Did. And uh, never came back. I mean... Oh, she, that's funny. You know, she she got married very young and was... For seven years, she was an only child. Yeah, and she probably, you know, and, and she was also like a perfect student, A, straight A's yeah. and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm not sure how the bar slipped so much from <laughs> to her to Cliff. But, <laughs> but, uh, and, and the rest of us. Yeah, you know, all, yeah. All you threw girls. Cliff under the bus. What about Gary? Yeah, what about you? Yeah, I mean, we were all above average students, yeah. I'd say. Like, the girls were all, you know, better students than the boys. <laughs> you know, the boys were out having fun. We would lived over by the Bay Presbyterian Church and we would all cobble together whatever motors, mini bike or go-kart we could have and race them around the parking lots over there and have lots of fun. Sure. You're always doing something, especially yeah. in a larger family. And we lived right next to the Columbia Beach, so we'd go down there and ride, you know, sheets of plywood down a waterfall <laughs> down there and go out and surf on inner tubes and whatever stupid thing we could do growing yeah. up. And Bay was, you know, was a, a great place. You know, I mean... I never, you know, it felt like we never, as a lot of people say, never locked the doors. Yeah. You know, my mom and dad had a giant uh, uh, bell from, you know, one of those ding dong. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, it's from a train or something like that. And every night at dinner time, they would ring the bell and we'd all come home. And, you know, other than that, you know, you were never at home. When we no. I mean, You'd go out at eight o'clock in the morning. Play and... baseball for five hours or football during throwing a what season of basketball, whatever. And you would never come home. I mean, mom and dad were probably like, you know. Yeah. It was, I mean, it's not like today we had four channels of TV or whatever. We just <laughs> went out and played and gotten, you know, played in the mud, played in the creeks, played wherever we were. And, Nothing to watch on TV when we were that age. Well, Nothing in the middle of the day. And you just didn't. Of, yeah. You know, Flintstones or right. you know, Looney Tunes. Quest, you yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. Thing, you know, they have Bugs Bunny or whatever. So there wasn't a lot. To, so we had a lot of outdoor time. And, Absolutely. You know, so growing up, you know, we were, we, you know, loved that, loved the fireworks at Bay and the carnival they had, you know, the Bay Days thing. Yep. And the lady with the pockets in her, you know. And all that <laughs> Pocket stuff. lady. Pocket <laughs> she comes up in a lot of our alumni yeah, so foundation. Yeah, you know, you'd get all those weird little contests and stuff <laughs> like that. But it was fun going to Bay Days. And, you know, everything seemed, you know, Norman Rockwell-y. Absolutely. You know, it, was, it was definitely a, a, a very idyllic place to grow up. And, you know, no complaints about growing up in Bay, you know, so. Perfect. 